everyone. Uh, following the collection video the other day, I have decided to uh, unhaul a few of the series in my collection. They have been, a lot of them, on my shelf for a really long time. They will have been read at some point over the years, but I, some I just think I'm not going to read again. And as much as I might still quite like the series or have fond memories of the series, I don't think that's necessarily a good reason to keep some of them especially when I'm needing space for newer series that I maybe enjoy a little bit more. Um, I just, you know, it's, I guess it's not about how many you've got, is it? It's about the, the quality of what you've got. And to me, some of these are just maybe a little bit too young for me, or I'm just not kind of interested in that anymore. I'm sorry if my voice sounds really croaky. I woke up like this. Um, so I'm going to pull out the series I'm thinking about um, unhauling today and show you and you can uh, let me know what you think. I'm probably going to list them on Facebook uh, Marketplace or there is a, a manga selling page on Facebook as well. So that is what I will be doing later on today. Um, but if there is anybody in the UK who's interested in anything that I want to unhaul, just send me a message on Instagram um, or leave a comment and I can uh, arrange, you know, price and postage or whatever it is. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first of all, I'm just going to start over on this bookcase because I know there is only, I think, one single volume that I have decided I'm not going to bother collecting and that is Blue Period. I know it's really popular. I don't know if it's going to be my thing. Maybe I would really enjoy it. But like I said in my collection video, I just have this random volume five. And, you know, if I was going to collect it, I would want to start with one, which would mean I would probably end up having to pick up five again. But for now, I'm not planning on picking this up. I have too many ongoing series that I know I'm in, like invested in. So this one is going in the unhaul pile. Back over to my main shoujo bookcase. I have decided to get rid of a few series, mostly off this shelf. Um, I think because I know I'm not going to read them again, so I haven't I haven't read the Grand Guggenau Orchestra, and I actually found out today that it's not completed four; it's completed five volumes. I'm not really interested in picking up the fifth volume. You know, I got those thrown in the bundle with these series, um, so I'm not too bothered about like completing it and then reading it. So I think I'll sell those. I did read the Kane Saga and Godchild and they were like, they were okay, but not my favorite thing I've ever read. So I think I'll unhaul those as well uh, because they are like an older, kind of older series and the style's just not really for me, to be honest. So um, I'm definitely keeping Mint Chocolate because I do enjoy that. And Nature Dew I'm gonna keep because I haven't finished collecting yet. Behind the scenes, one to seven, I am toying with the idea of selling these. And I had said I would complete collecting Ottoman and reread it, but I have read up to volume 11. So I have volume 11 and 15. I don't think I'm gonna, it's worth me collecting the last few because I, I think I already know that I, I am gonna get rid of it. So if I wanted to reread it, I know I could go online and do that. So I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll just unhaul it. And if ever I get the urge, I'm like, oh, I need to read Ottoman. I'll find it online, I think. That's probably uh, the way to go about it. I still haven't made a decision about the Water Dragon's Bride. <laughs> I just really don't know. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep it for now. I think that's, yeah, I'm going to keep it for now. But it's on the on the agenda, possibly. Uh, rent a Girlfriend, one to four. I am going to get rid of those. I just, I'm not really interested in the series now that I've watched some of the anime and I just really didn't like vibe with it. So I, I think there's like over 20 volumes out in Japanese. You know, I definitely, I, I don't want to get into another series where there's like over 20 volumes to collect when I'm not really sure about it already. So I think they will be going on the unhaul pile. These ones I have toyed with a lot more. Uh, well, these, <laughs> but not really because I've just started reading those. Um, these series here, I don't, I don't think they're hard to pick up, so I don't think they're going to be particularly sought after. So I might struggle to unhaul them, but I think I've decided Full Moon. Like I have read it several times online, so 
and I can only get volumes one and two. The other volumes are quite hard to pick up in singles. So if uh, anyone is interested in those, I think I will sell those. Ultramaniac, I have such sweet, fond memories of as a teenager. But again, I don't think I, I'm ever going to feel the urge to read it. So I think those can go in the pile. Absolute Boyfriend, I might possibly give this a quick skim through again. But I think still, um, I just think... I'm not really likely to pick them up. They're not, it's not the, the best manga out there, but it is quite a fun read. And Imadoki, I have really like, I have really fond memories, like particularly of the first volume where I picked it up and kind of getting into this series. I think I was only about 14 when I found it and I really, really like, it has kind of a sentimental value, but it's not actually the most amazing series either. It is quite good. So again, I might give it a quick skim through, but I think that one is also good on the pile. I just need to kind of make the decision and, you know, pull the plaster off quick and easy and get rid of those. Love Calm, I'm gonna hold on to for a while, I think. Um, see if I can pick up the rest of the series. Same with Strawbedge, you know, don't know if that's gonna happen. Right, I have actually been thinking I might sell Toradora, I have one to six. I loved the anime so much, so, so much. But am I going to finish collecting and read the manga? I don't think I am. Like, I just don't think I am. So why hold on to it? Um, I think that's going to go on the sell pile and um, possibly Orimo as well. And possibly also SP Baby because that's completed just two. I, I kind of, I'm not super keen on like really short series. So I think all of these and all of those. And then I'll have more space for all these poor manga that have to sit on top of the books. Like, it's just not fair. I don't think there's any BL or, um, I don't think there's any series down here that I'm really willing to part with. Like I have toyed with the idea of Yakuza Lover and honestly, before yesterday, I would have said, yeah, I think I'll just read the last two and, and sell. But then volume six is out and everyone's raving about how good it's just got. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to stick it out for a bit longer. So I'm going to stick it out and I'm going to pick up six and get those last few read and see how I feel about it. Um, Yeah. So that, I think, along with these that I've already uh, set aside, is going to be my on haul. So I'll take them all out, show you the absolute devastation of my bookcase once I do that and um yeah see see how many it is see how many volumes i will be losing from my collection also really quick um i have been told that i just need to part ways with the made summer singles <laughs> and while i do agree um i don't think anyone would be interested in buying them because you can get the uh the omnibuses now um i don't know who would particularly want to get them I just like them because again they're like a sentimental thing like I can remember picking them up and I really like I like the singles so I think what I might do is just take them off the bookcase and store them like maybe up in the attic or something um, because I kind of don't want to part with them if anyone it would be interested in buying them like maybe I could I could say goodbye but I kind of don't think anyone would want them and I still kind of do want them but I don't necessarily have to keep them here because if I'm going to read it I'm obviously going to read those so that's what I've decided to do with that one um possibly the same with uh Chobits which is in here too the uh the singles I might take the singles out and keep them but keep them elsewhere just just stored because I have the um the hardback on these uh on the bookcase as well so i'm just trying to think how much space i can create um for all of these new series that i've started recently yeah and here it is guys this is my unhaul including the uh the books i have piled up over at the side so i decided to add the horrendously awful uh first volume of uh, Mason and Kofu because I, I think I will be picking them up in their the omnibus form. Uh, don't expect anyone to pay any money for that. I'll probably just have to give it to, to a charity shop, <laughs> but that's fine. Um, 
I am feeling quite happy about getting rid of these. Um, I think it needed to be done and I'll show you quickly. So the, I've just kind of moved a few things around so that nothing is now lying on the top. Um, if you would like to see a um, reorganization video or something, uh, let me know in the comments and I might be able to figure something out. Um, I might need a plan before I start. But uh, I know some people do like watching those, so if you'd be interested, uh, let me know and I will uh, I'll get that sorted for you. But yes, lots of... actually, it doesn't... It doesn't actually look like there's that much extra space, but <laughs> there is some extra space. I may have to forfeit the whole shelf for Fruits Basket. Um, I haven't actually taken the, the Maid Summer and Chobits out of that top shelf yet either, so there is still room up there. Um, but yes, that is that is me so far, and I didn't decide for definite on the Water Dragon's Bride, so I've put that at the back. Um, I'm just going to think on that one. Somebody tell me what to do about that. Have you read it? What did you think? Is it worth holding on to? I don't know. Okay, so that is my shelves. Currently, they will probably stay like this for a little while. I have more manga that I did a, um, an unboxing video last night, so I have more to put away. So I, I do need to rearrange these. But yeah, that is it so far. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this unhaul. If you have any thoughts or comments on the books I've decided to let go of, uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Um, and again, if anyone in the UK is interested in any of these series, feel free to get in touch. I will be listing them on Facebook, I think. Uh, yeah, so thanks so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.